With melee mods getting more popular than ever, lots of people are trying to figure out how to put custom characters, stages, and textures into their game. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use Dat Texture Wizard so you can do exactly that and get back to your netplay grind. In this video, we're going to cover where to get Dat Texture Wizard, how to find the files that you want to replace, how to replace those files, and some tips on managing your ISOs. So the first thing we're going to do is download Dat Texture Wizard. For that, we're just going to go to Google and type in Dat Texture Wizard. Then we're going to click on the first link. And Dat Texture Wizard is a tool made by members of the community. Uh, some of them including Durgan, Achilles, Michael Ashby, and my friend Spamit Burns. So thanks a lot to them. We're going to click on the GitHub release and download it. It should download for you right away. Alright, and then we're going to open it up. Put it somewhere that's easy for you to find. I'm just going to save it here. Okay, great. We're almost ready to start working with our ISO. Before we start making any edits to our ISO, it's a good idea to have a clean backup. You never know when you'll need it. So now that I have a clean backup, we can start making edits. First thing I'm going to do is just drag that ISO onto Dat Texture Wizard. Here you can see we have all of our files laid out for us. Now that we're all set up, let's start replacing files. I'm going to start with the red Falco costume. And so to do that, I'm going to go to the Characters tab, open the Falco folder, and find the red color costume, which is the last one. With it selected, I'm going to hit import and I'm going to search my computer for the red Falco file. You can see that the beginning of the file matches PLFCRE, PLFCRE. I always leave the original file name at the beginning of my modded ones, but not all files may be labeled as clearly, so watch out for that. With it selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And you'll see that that texture wizard is saying this is ready to be replaced. I'm going to do the same with the blaster, which is stored in the data and shared textures file. So import, and we're going to look for the plfc file, and then we're going to open, and you'll see that they're both ready to be replaced. Let's move on to Captain Falcon. And here you'll see that there's a bunch, but there's also duplicates. For example, the red one has both a .dat file and a .usd. In some cases, Melee stores two versions of the same file, one in English and one in Japanese. Melee only uses one of these at a time, depending on your language settings in the game. So in our case, we're going to be replacing the USD file. So with that selected, we're going to go to the import, and then we're going to make sure to replace it with the Captain Falcon red USD. Let's move on to changing the stage. So I'm going to click on the Stages tab and scroll down to Dreamland, which is the one that we'll be replacing. You can see that the stages aren't in folders, and that's because there's only one version of each stage. So with it selected, we'll go to Import, and we're going to change it over here. You see GROP, GROP, great. And that's all of our files ready to be replaced. Now that we're done, let's go to the File and Save to make those changes happen. You can see that it's rebuilding our ISO. That's because our files are a different size than the original ones. So to make up for that, that Texture Wizard is rebuilding the ISO with our new changes. This prompt is asking, do we want to continue editing the new one that we made or the old one? In most cases, you're gonna to wanna to hit yes. Great. So you can see it's rebuilt our ISO and the new file name has the same name as before with the appendage of rebuilt v1 at the end. So you can see we have the original one, our clean backup, and then the rebuilt version which has our new files. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to Animele so that we know which one's which. Now let's try it out in Dolphin. Ready? Go. Great. So it looks like all of our changes worked. Success. So that's it. We got everything working. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and uh, anything else you'd like to see. 
I'm planning on doing a few of these covering other aspects of melee modding. Until next time, it's ya boy Primal.